welcome to my channel. Today we have a special guest, Christina. Daja, how? <laughs> yeah, Christina is a PhD student and she's also working in the University of Manitoba. So today we are very happy that she will be giving us a tour of this beautiful campus. Uh, before we start, maybe Christina, you can give us a little bit introduction of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And I have been here at the University of Manitoba for almost five years now. And uh, currently, I'm a PhD student in Peace and Conflict Studies at um, Arthur Morrow Center. And uh, I'm going to walk you guys around the campus and talk a little bit about my personal stories, my challenges, and my rewardings of being in this community for five years. Yeah, that would be so nice. So maybe we can start right from the building. Absolutely. So behind us, we have the administrative building. Right, so like when people go about University of Manitoba, this is probably one of the first buildings that comes up. It's one of the oldest buildings in campus, it's located right in the center of the campus. For student registration, we have the UC right here, and uh, where we get most of our academic supports and registration office, mm -hmm. and uh, we can go in and see a little bit and talk a little bit more about it. It's very important for international students, you have to do like basically everything here. Yes, correct. Your, your tuition, your tuition fee, fee, yeah. And Bookstore is there too. Oh, really? It's one of my favorite places in the campus. Yeah. Uh, and also cafeteria mm -hmm. is also at the university center. Okay. And uh, so it's a good place to, to know very well on campus. As you can see, it's very quiet, which is very unusual. Because normally it's very busy yeah, and now crowded. It's summertime. Now it's summertime. We are going downstairs to see the cafeteria and bookstore. Yeah, here is like the main cafeteria. We have uh, a lot of food options. Mm -hmm. We have like sandwich, hamburger. We have sandwich. We have hamburger. With, um, we have uh, like um, an Asian cuisine. We have Indian cuisine too. So it's, so it's, it's diverse. It's an international for everyone. Cafeteria. You know, it's right. Yeah. Gosh. I'm sure you're gonna find something that you like it to eat. <laughs> Here's the bookstore, right? And where normally you will get your books that are assigned for your courses. You can always come and um, pre-order in here. Mm -hmm. You know, you or can I just get it here? You can you can just get it in here. Normally mm -hmm. everything that your prof's gonna order for your courses, mm -hmm. it's gonna be available within the, the bookstore. Okay. Or if you prefer, uh, just do your own research and find something else in, yeah. in, in uh, online, go ahead, come in. because especially during winter time we have lots of green inside it's very important to you know make sure you are surrounded by like a health environment Christina you mentioned that you have been in this campus for like five years so in the beginning you were an international student right correct what are the most challenging aspects of being an international student in Canada? I think the most challenge it was to adapt to a new environment okay. and to know where to go if I needed help or mm -hmm. how to do things. Mm -hmm. Very important to be aware of the service that are on campus so mm -hmm. you can take full benefits of it. Mm -hmm. So for me it was very uh, hard to just get used to a new educational system. It's very different from um, your home country. Oh yeah, we forgot to ask you, like, where are you from? And um, I'm originally from Brazil, mm -hmm. and I but I grew up in the U.S. Okay. And so yeah. it's still very different between U.S. and Canadian there's still a lot of difference system. between uh, the educational system mm -hmm. in the U.S. and and in Canada. Mm -hmm. And we will have difference within Canadian university itself, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. every organization has its own way of run. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very important to to be aware of uh, of that, you know. And don't be afraid of asking. Don't yeah. be afraid for asking for help mm -hmm. or clarify if you're not understanding mm -hmm. something. Uh, from my own experience, I think here you have to learn to take initiative. You have to learn to ask questions and learn to like find support because. 
even though you are an international student and people are willing to help you, you have to let them know you need a support. That's a really good point because the system works more independent. Yeah. Like it's a student go and seek for help and not they come in approach, mm -hmm. which is might be like the background, like back home, mm -hmm. for example, right? Uh, Everything is ready there, you just yes. need to be there and then consume it, <laughs> right? But here you have to go and get it. So it's exactly. And they are available, so you, you gotta go in and get, don't be afraid to make mistakes, don't be afraid to challenge yourself. I think this is, is key. Yeah. Yeah. It's the most important thing here, I think. And then what are the most uh, rewarding parts of like having your academic journey here? I think there, there's so many different points that I could mm -hmm. mention, right? But. For me, the most rewarding thing is just being in touch with people from all over the world. Mm. You know, you meet so many people that come from so many different country, countries and cultures and learning from their experience, mm -hmm. their perspective about the same subject or different subject, mm -hmm. it's so, so rich. Yeah, it's very diverse. I think that's one of the benefits of studying or living in Canada. For me, being international students in different places, mm -hmm. You just learn so many things from mm -hmm. um, from your colleagues, mm -hmm. right? And uh, they, and you ended up being a family because you're away from home. You find things in common that you have, and you hang out. And uh, you know, my academic colleagues became part of my family. Mm -hmm. That's how we hang out. That's our my social life, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's very rewarding because we can help each other, learning from each other, and just be open to accept diversity. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> so I think that's about everything for today. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you for having me in your channel. See you 